I'm Philippa. I'm Daniel. And we're from Michael Carr Architect presenting the Mundaring Child Care Centre. Um, I'll just take a moment to acknowledge um, country. So we acknowledge and respect the continued custodianship of the country we, we meet and work on by First Nations peoples. We pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. So the Mundaring Child Care Centre is located in Cranbourne, about 50 kilometres southeast of the CBD. It's an area of exponential growth and as a result the child care centres are in high demand. Um, our clients live and work in the area and run several child care centres there. Um, this is an image of the original child care centre that Mundaring replaced. Um, it was very beloved by the child care community but it was no longer fit for purpose and so the clients really wanted to create a new centre that met their needs um, and they were equally really interested in pursuing um, a design for that. So we start off by looking at the streetscape. It's predominantly in a residential street, um, very much typical pitched roof throughout. Um, so we really took this as a bit of a starting point conceptually, um, thinking about that traditional vernacular, thinking about um, roof forms, but also taking into account ideas of sun, uh, shade, shelter, and really thinking about, I guess, the residential, um, comparing that to a much more sort of commercial modern form, and then thinking about how we could amalgamate the two. Um, the roof forms then continued this process of sort of transformation and moulding both in uh, elevation and also in plan and it equally sort of was informed by ideas around origami, folding garments, child building blocks and a shared love between the client and ourselves of um, Dr Seuss in terms of scale, play and colour. Um, so in terms of the functionality of the space it was very structured so we started off with the central reception um, which had access to the staff, back of house and the classrooms. Typically you had two classrooms that each shared an amenities and a store and then access to outdoors from classroom and amenities spaces. In addition, this was uh, supplemented by a staff training space, which was something we introduced to the client um, given they have a number of facilities in the area. It was an opportunity to bring all the staff together to run training and these staff areas were located upstairs with views directly into classroom and outdoor play. So this is just a floor plan showing the foyer area with the two central axes. And then you've got the staff areas, so kitchen, meeting room on the left hand side and then laundry, bin store on the other side with direct access out onto the street. And this is a view of that foyer area where we made it quite generous to allow space for families to gather and views directly through to the playground when you enter. Um, the, play, the classrooms are located around the perimeter of the building, so you can see each with direct access outside. The larger classrooms host the older students on the left-hand side and then the younger students are smaller groups on the right-hand side. Um, these are the, just the amenities opening directly outdoors and then the uh, storerooms scattered in amongst. Uh, this is a view of one of the classrooms, so typically lots of uh, natural light through the glazing um, you can glimpse the training room up above looking down. So it was also about as much about passive surveillance of within the childcare spaces as well as that natural light with plenty of glazing. Um, upstairs we had the staff lunchroom and storeroom and then these were the two training spaces so the whole area can open up or separate out as need be. And then these had views down into the classrooms below for that training that we mentioned. Uh, this is just a section through showing how that void and that visibility works. And then the view here gives you that sense of that verticality, um, the use of natural light through clerestory glazing, um, and then the views down into the room from the training rooms. Um, in terms of the overall form, um, the, the context in the site was very much taken into consideration, um, particularly the residential scale of the surrounding buildings. Um, it, the, the roof pitch was, was done in a way such that um, at those boundaries near the residential um, houses. It was single level and then it um, raked to be uh, the two level uh, building that it is. Um, so it gave this, um, I kind of, I guess as you approach it, 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 it gradually grows um, in size. Um, the overall form was clad in um, different profiled metal cladding um, of white material. Um, with pops of um, wood grain and also Z pellens as feature um, screens. Um, as you get up close, you can see some of the perforated, uh, the multiple perforated cladding 
um, we used secular windows into the into the childcare. Um, overall, we did try and hide a lot of the services or wrap it in this same perforated, um, sorry, um, profile cladding. Um, and even the bin store has a perf perforated metal cladding as well, which fits in seamlessly. Um, the m much of the, I guess, normal childcare. Um, fencing we, we tried to contain within the building so we've got an, an entry airlock that um, has uh, two doors that would essentially um, close if a child tried to escape um, but it's kind of concealed behind the, the glass. Um, throughout the process we tried to have a lot of the concept involved um, a connection between inside and outside so um, the crazy paving coming from the car park into the into the foyer was a key highlight. Um, and then having a view to the courtyard with feature um, joinery. Um, and this is the main stairwell up to the training rooms with a view out as you get to the landing. Um, overall, there's a quite a minimal palette um, and uh, I, I guess kind of calm spaces just to kind of um, keep it simple but also reduce wastage as much as possible um, but still having interest um, so, and I guess generally we did have a lot of um, consultation with the landscapers, um, trying to work with the concept of um, bringing the landscape in or bringing play inside and having um, planter boxes um, organised such around, that they're around columns and that there's, um, there's more space for play in, in these areas. So overall, it was an incredibly collaborative process, which was um, a hugely enjoyable part of the process for us. Um, the clients were, had so much knowledge um, to share, and they really brought that to the table in the design process, um, which meant that functionally it works really well for them. The feedback we've had has been incredibly positive um, six months, sort of six months, eight months on, and the families are loving the light, bright spaces. Um, staff are enjoying working there and really that's all we could probably hope for as an architect and a response. Um, so thank you 